Hi, Dave the Grey, Forge Master of the Hairy Game Lords, and those wonderful people at Hexy Studios have sent us this. Star Scrappers Battle Drill, Volume 2. What did we think? Find out. Now, I say, sent us, what I mean is, they emailed me some files. And I say, Forge Master, because I've got a 3D printer. So, how does it work? It's very simple, it's a tabletop skirmish war game. Now, by tabletop skirmish war game, you're probably imagining spending your left kidney on tons and tons of plastic models and about a million rule books that are really, really complicated. Uh, trust me, I used to work for quite a well-known tabletop war game manufacturer and you have to spend your left kidney and there's tons and tons of really complicated rule books. But fear not, if you're just starting or you're an old, old lag like me, I'm only 27, but you know, this is a great place to start. So it's set in possibly a now familiar Star Scrappers universe. Everybody's fighting over crystals, mech. If you don't know it, check out some of Hexy's previous games because it is just a really cool universe. And the actual game itself is quite straightforward. Six-sided dice and everybody has got a little card to keep you straight. A few stats, speed, how fast you can move, attack, what could that possibly be? Um, armor, how much stuff you can take, and there's a really cool thing called Jink, which is basically how many successful attacks you can just completely ignore, which I really, really like. And that gives you an element of strategy and what have you that normally takes a massive rule book about that thick to churn through with dice modifiers and all that kind of thing. But in this, four or more, you hit your target. Simples. Um, so if you haven't delved into the world of tabletop wargaming because you think it's too complicated, this is a really, really good place to start. So the cards keep everything nice and simple. There's four races, so everybody can choose a race with slightly different strategies, pros, cons, or just one they'd like the look of. And let's get to the bit that we're all interested in, to be honest with you, the models. The models are absolutely awesome. Helps if you're on a 3D printer, but to be honest, now there's loads of places that if you don't, you can print the rules out and you can just pay somebody who does have a 3D printer to make your stuff. And if you haven't got one, they're like a couple of hundred quid. It's, you know, go on, go for it, do it. Nobody will find out. It'll be fine. It's a great hobby to be in because you can make stuff like this. Now I say make, I just printed it out. Those fine people at Hexy, uh, the true geniuses with the actual design and crafting abilities. I just kind of press play. But that is one fine, fine model. And you could pay top coin if you went into, uh, let's say, a well-known um, high street establishment for something like that. And I just printed it. And these models are absolutely gorgeous. If you look at the detail on that, that is a fine piece of artwork. She is Domina, who's like a robot warrior. And yes, yeah, she'll just run up, slap you about a bit, run off wings, you know. And you've also got, if you've played any of the other Battle Drill games, probably recognise these chaps, Space Cowboys. So, cowboy hat, space armour, laser pistols. It's just cool, you know. I'm quite easily excited by this kind of thing. Model making, I get to paint them up, and space cowboys, giant robots. How cool is he? Seriously, how cool is he? You can you can put a comment. Obviously, he's really cool, but this is just awesome stuff and simple to play. Cool models. You also get models for all of the little tokens and what have you that you need to play or if you don't want to do that you can just print out paper or card tokens it is so so straightforward the guys at the hairy game lords don't really tend to do this kind of thing 
which is why I'm printing all the stuff for them. It's more standard board games, but we're going to be going to a con soon. They're going to be playing this and we shall be having a video right here. So this is on Kickstarter. It's the second volume. So there's already a ton of cool stuff that you're already going to get. And then loads of new stretch goals. Massive armoured train. Spoiler alert. Have a look on Kickstarter. If you've got any interest in tabletop wargaming, get it. If you haven't played a tabletop war game before and you think it might be cool, get it. If you really just like cool models and you want to print stuff and paint it up, get it. I think it's probably fairly straightforward to realise that right now I'm just saying, get on Kickstarter, back this, it's awesome. And if you're at Aircon, I'll see you there with these models. Two thumbs up from me, get backing. Bye! I'm off to